Hey guys, welcome. So, simple encryption on USB sticks. That's what I'm going to talk about today, filming in 1080. Now, if you uh, type in USB, you do have a stick formatter and a writer. That's usually used for ISO images. But we're going to talk a little bit about uh, using a USB stick for maybe a little bit more privacy than using this formatter tool. I'll be using 128 gigabyte. Um, it is a portable SSD, but it is in a format that looks like a USB stick. Um, so if that isn't good enough, uh, they do sell them at higher capacities. But uh, would I choose FAT32 if I was trying to encrypt something? No. I would use another tool for that. Right click on your panel bar, system settings. Walk over here and open up disks. All right, there is the 128 gigabyte disk, and it's currently formatted with FAT32. What does that stand for? File Allocation Table 32. 32 bit, in other words. All right, so I have all the particulars on this portable drive. What I can do with this tool here uh, is uh, GNOME Disk Utility, is basically reformat that here. And um, what did I call the last one? My USB. Well, my USB one, whatever. I don't really like names and spaces either uh, when it comes to volume. Uh, spaces in the name, in other words, what, what I'm... But if you like all capitals, then so be it. Okay? So my USB one, but instead of using NTFS, I will use extension four with Lux. This is Linux encryption. If you activate this box, you will have to put in a, a password. There is also other where you can uh, provide XFS, BTRFS with Lux encryption. We're gonna stick with the most basic one. And we're doing this for ourselves. I'm making an encrypted backup USB stick, in other words. All right, if you want me to start from scratch, it's click the gear symbol, format partition, give it a name. My USB one. I will uh, use the extension four with Lux. What's the password? And this is something, you, once you do this, Try not to forget it if you put important files on there. There are other encryption tools out there. I'm just showing you something that's built in to Linux Mint, okay? So don't go there. But this is plenty good for house use and stuff like that. And um, I will put in a password. And maybe a little bit longer than that, so. All right, so it's a weak password, but it's still long. You'll need to repeat that. Then you can also show password. All right, so it will lose all the data on that drive. It's currently formatted with FAT32. Now it's gonna be formatted with NT, um, sorry, extension four with uh, Lux encryption. Okay, wait till it finishes. Okay, so partition one says 128 GB Lux on it. And then it says extension four. It's currently unlocked. So let's go take a peek at that in our file manager and see what we got here. So it says USB 1, but when I click on it, you can now uh, create a folder, call it test, and we're done. Now we're going to eject it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I need to reinsert it on my computer because a lot of times these USB ports require that. And you'll see two things that'll pop up. Authentication required. If I put in a bad password, I'm not gonna get past this box here. I'm just trying to let you see it. Okay, so right here, it says it's encrypted. So where's our prompt box? Right here. So I'm gonna put in what I put in for a password. All right, so you can have this remember uh, until logout. That's generally standard. Okay, then it opens this up with that same name on it. Okay, I'll close that. 
and then close this again and eject it. But now you can see it's not mounted, but it says it's encrypted. So if I click that again, it opens because I told it to remember the password until I log out. Please remember when you encrypt a drive like this, since you are first using it, you can certainly put, you know, X amount of files until you run out of space, but um, more importantly, it'll stay this way until you log out. So uh, let me grab some stuff here. None of these are really private images, but you can just think about it that way. You can create a subfolder called My Personal, whatever. Okay, in that instance, I'm just using uh, spaces, but in the actual drive name, I didn't use spaces because later on, I could possibly use this for other purposes, like script files. But anyways, so now I have two folders here, eject time. So I'm gonna yank the stick out. Keep in mind, I haven't logged out of the system yet. So I'm gonna reinsert it. And you can hear the chimes going back and forth. It automatically opens that up until you log out. Then it'll re-request a password. It may not be the hardest security in the world, but it is something that you can use to protect yourself and keep your files private if you're dealing with uh, Snoopy family members, let's put it that way. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.